Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Prem Composer to export a scene of Prems from 3ds Max and then import them into Second Life or OpenSim using the Maxport utility. First, I want to briefly show you where the documentation is for Maxport. This is the main Prem Composer homepage, and under here there is a link to documentation and support. From there, there's reference documentation and a link to the Maxport command line options. Maxport is a command line program, which means you can't simply double click it. You have to open a command line prompt and then type in a command such as this in order to import a, a build into Second Life or OpenSim. On this page, all of the uh, parameters and command line options are fully documented. There are also near the end here uh, some example usage showing you some of the common scenarios that you would use the use this utility. So let's get started and see how this works. I'm starting with a scene that I've pre-built inside of 3ds Max uh, with a bunch of cylinders that have been distorted in various ways and then a texture applied and we also have a light in this scene which is creating some nice shadows. We do a quick render on this we can see that we get some nice dark shadows in here and when we export this, these shadows will be baked into the textures. So the first thing, oh, also, I just wanted to show that this, this build is actually composed of several link sets. And it's kind of hard to see exactly which prims are in the link set, but if you click, right click on this and select object properties and then check see through then you can see the set of prims that are actually in that link set fairly well. I'll just turn that off. And now let's export this scene. Let's, from the Prim Composer menu, select Export All. We're going to save it into the C colon backslash tutorial folder and we're going to give this name example 1. We want to bake the textures for this. We want to export textures while we're exporting and we want to bake the textures. And we can see from the dialog here that we have 43 prims and into that are linked into five link sets. So let's go ahead and press export. At this point, Mental Ray is baking the textures that will be exported uh, along with the prim information. This is going to take a while, so I'm just going to pause this for a second while this completes. Okay, the export is complete. We can see that it baked 129 textures and it took 15 minutes to perform that. Now, let's uh, let's go to uh, let's find Maxport. In a previous video, I installed uh, I downloaded Prim Composer into the tools slash zip folder. I'm going to extract this. And then to make this easier to work with, I'm going to copy the Maxport folder up into tools. Okay, so now let's open a command line prompt. 
if we go to start all programs accessories command prompt now we want to go to the directory where max port is CD change directory that's what CD stands for tools now this is where I installed it yours may be in a different place I can type dir dir to get a directory listing there I see the folder maxport so I'll cd into maxport change directory and I do a dir and here we see maxport.exe now I already have OpenSim running and that's where I'm going to do the export to today so let's just rearrange these windows a little bit and now I'm going to run um, Maxport it's a command line uh, program so I have to type the command in right here maxport.exe dash uh, well first of all if you just type maxport.exe it will print a help text listing all of the command line options and up at the top here uh, it, it says option password is required but not specified and this error this stack trace that occurs here is just because the password was not uh, provided now I'm going to use the short notation maxport dash first name last name password FLP for first name last name password and in OpenSim I installed it with the default settings so the user is named test that's the first name user that's the last name and in the default OpenSim installation uh, test is the password then I need to specify uh, where it's going to uh, which which grid it's going to connect to so I'll do dash u for login URI and I'm running OpenSim on my local machine so the address is HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 and it needs to connect to port 9000 then the final piece of information that I need to give it is the location of the XML file the XML file was exported from 3ds Max and if we go to the directory where it exported I had it export to tutorial example 1 and we can see here is the XML file that contains the project that we just exported. If you look in textures, you can see here are all the baked textures that were created when we exported from 3ds Max. And let's take a quick look at this XML file. This is uh, the XML file that describes all of the prims that we've exported. And I'll just quickly reformat this so that you can see what's going on here. So we have link sets. We have prims. Here's a, a cylinder. It has a size, position, rotation, physics. It has a texture. It has several textures, as a matter of fact. Uh, path cuts, twists, hollows, shears, tapers, 
and then here's another cylinder and another cylinder so the XML file just has in a textual form all of the information about all of the params that are inside uh, the build that we've, we've exported. Now we need to pass this. Maxport needs to know this, the name and location of this file. So we can see that it's C tutorial example one, and then inside of the example one folder is the file example one.xml. So let's uh, let's go tell Maxport about that. We need a dash i for the input XML, and then now we want to type the name. Let's see backslash tutorials. Let's see, that was what it was, right? Uh, oops. Tutorial example one. tutorial backslash now you notice what I did here you don't actually have to type the whole line I can type TUT and then press the tab key and it completes it then I can press the first part of example press the tab key and it completes it and then the first part again and it completes it so now I've provided all the information that Maxport needs. We've given it the first, last, first and last name of the avatar that we want to log in with, the password, the login URI, which we specified with the dash U option, the input XML file, which we specified with the dash I option, and the full path to the XML file that was exported from 3ds Max. We've got OpenSim, the OpenSim console showing up here. So let's press return and see what happens. You can see that as Maxport is doing things, activity is showing up in the OpenSim console. This is kind of a nice feedback uh, when you're first using this. You can see it's creating a folder in the user's inventory called maxport underscore underscore maxport underscore underscore. It's creating an upload folder. It's creating a folder for example one. And now it's exporting the, it's importing the textures into, into, into OpenSim. Now it's, it, it linked the the uh, the prems and now it's done. This red message is normal. Okay, so now let's go into let's load the Second Life viewer. Here's the here's the shortcut that I created in a previous tutorial to log in to OpenSim.
Second Life Viewer is running, and now we want to log in with that same user into OpenSim. Test user with test is the password, and we'll log in. It says welcome to OpenSim, so we know we're logging into OpenSim. And now the build, once you come into OpenSim, the, the build or, or Second Life, the build is always above the avatar. So if we scroll back here, we can see here's our build. And we can see it has the nice shadowing that was created by 3ds Max. And we can also see that it is linked into the same link sets that we had inside of 3ds Max. So that's it. That's a complete example of exporting from 3ds Max and importing into OpenSim. Now what if you wanted to import into Second Life? Well the command is pretty much the same. First uh, a little quick tip. You don't have to uh, type the full command each time. If you press the up arrow, watch what happens. I'm pressing the up arrow and it brings back the whole command that I just previously typed. I can then use the left and right arrow keys to move along the line. So if I wanted to uh, uh, import this same uh, build into Second Life, all I would do is use the same command except I would change the username so shack Dougal my password and then I would also change the login URI here instead of putting this I would put dash dash main and this this argument dash dash main tells it to log in to the main Second Life grid and in this case it would log in as Shaq Dougal with my password and it would upload the same example.xml file into Second Life. If I wanted to upload this to the Second Life test grid instead I would use test. You can also, uh, I'm showing the short version of this now, you can also uh, do the command in a long version. So you could say dash dash first name dash dash last name dash dash password And then you could have here imp, uh, dash dash input XML. And this means exactly the same thing. To log in as Shaq Dougal with this password, upload it to test, and use this as the input XML file. All of these options are documented. All of these options are documented on the web page, the Maxport documentation, and also if you just type maxport.exe, you get a full list of this documentation. So you can see here, for the password option, you can either do dash p or dash dash password. For the last name, you can either do dash l or dash dash last name, etc. Uh, and also a description of what each of these parameters does. Well, I hope that helps uh, helps helps you understand how to use Maxport.